All right, hello and welcome to the weather update. It's a little before 9 p.m. on February 15th, 2019. And uh, we had a uh, very warm day over parts of the area today, really ridiculously warm. Uh, and uh, Long Island, we had a bit of a sea breeze to moderate things. So I'll first show you what it got up to on Long Island. Uh, right now it's 46 at Farmingdale Airport, uh, so it's not too bad. Uh, 46 degrees, it's still way above what it's supposed to be. It did hit 50 uh, at Farmingdale, so 50 degrees at Farmingdale. So again, there was a sea breeze keeping things from getting too uh, too warm here on the island. Uh, 47 at Gabreski Airport, and the high got up to 51 there at Gabreski Airport in West Hampton. Uh, if we move over to the city now, Central Park, you'll see it will be warmer, 55 degrees. And let's see what they got up to. They got up to 59 degrees, but nope, it's still, we still can go warmer than that. Let's go to our favorite hot spot, which by far was the warmest of, uh, the, of any area across, Long, uh, across our metropolitan area. It's 55 in Tom's River, but look at what it got up to. It got up to 65 degrees in Tom's River today. 65 degrees in February. That's crazy. So we look at the Ventu sky here. Oh, yeah. Wish we were there. But we're over here. Um, <laughs> you could see uh, the difference here. I like this because it really illustrates the uh, difference here between Long Island and New Jersey. So you could see mainly in the 40s with that wind coming right in off the ocean. Whereas in Tom's River, it's a lot warmer. And if we back it up to like 2 or 3 o'clock, you'll really see the difference here. Look at that. Uh, so you'll see that Long Island is in the low 50s, but if you go into Tom's River, it's in the 60s all over New Jersey. So that's that's a big issue with living in New Jersey for folks, is that it's always hotter there. You know, If you like the warm weather, that's great. I don't. I prefer to be over here where at least the sea breeze is keeping things cooler. I know it's not the summer, but when this is the summer, it'll be 75 on Long Island than be 85 in New Jersey. And I'd rather have the 75. So, uh, again, that's, uh, this is what we're dealing with right now in February. And, of course, lots of clouds around today. Uh, mix of high clouds, mid-level clouds. You can see some clearing teasing us to the north. The question is, is that clearing going to get in, in here uh, for tomorrow? Uh, so we start looking at the models and seeing what our weekend is going to turn out to be like. And uh, you can see on the GFS a lot of clouds. Actually, the cloudiness is way overdone on the GFS. If you look at the satellite, you'll see just a little bit of low cloudiness here. So cloudiness is overdone. So this model may be a little cloudier than it's supposed to be. Uh, and you can see it keeps us pretty much in the clouds tomorrow. As far as Sunday goes, we might get a break, but then it puts us right back in the clouds again. Uh, and then for next week, uh, we could be playing. We're going to be, well, we'll talk about next week. Let's talk about this weekend first. And then I'll talk about the following week because we do have some weather events coming up. All right, so um, you can see here the NAM uh, also a little overdone on the clouds. Um, the NAM does clear us out tomorrow afternoon. It looks like it does. It pushes a lot of those clouds away, especially for Long Island. So maybe we actually have a clear day tomorrow. So that would be great. That would be awesome. And as far as Sunday goes, um, maybe some clear in the morning, but then it clouds up. Uh, for the folks in Jersey, I don't know if they're going to get a clear day at all this weekend. That's another thing. Being further south, you're closer to the stall front, so that means more clouds for you. Um, so, But that's good. At least it looks like the NAM is bringing us some clear skies. And here's another model, which I don't normally look at. But this model is also very encouraging. Um, if we go and we look at the uh, Canadian model, you'll see it also has clear skies over us on Long Island and maybe even parts of New Jersey clear skies. Um, and as we go into Sunday... Same thing, starts off clear, and then those clouds roll in on us. So I think that's uh, some pretty good news uh, as far as the conditions this weekend. Maybe we'll get some clear skies, because I do need it. It's, I need to get back to the Pine Barrens. This is ridiculous. So let's uh, look at the temperatures, and let's see uh, how our temperatures are going to look for this weekend. We'll start off with the GFS, uh, and we go into tomorrow. Now today was very warm, but we have a front moving through. And we will be in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees tomorrow. Uh, just about average for this time of the year. And for Sunday, around the same. Upper 30s to around 40 degrees. Uh, and if we look at the NAM model, uh, you'll see it'll probably agree with that. Yeah, pretty much. So um, temperatures will be uh, seasonable. You know, not as warm as today. It's more typical for this time of the year. More normal, the way it's supposed to be. Not all. Uh, 50s and stuff. That's just too warm for February. Um, 
let's now uh, go and look at the longer range. All right, so let's take a look at the longer range. We are back in the CONUS view for the nation here for the low of 48. And uh, we are looking at uh, there's a storm that's going to be going by to the south, but it's really getting pushed out of the south. So that's why I'm thinking uh, it should be far enough south that hopefully we can get a clear day tomorrow, at least for uh, us here on Long Island. And then you can see that high to the north, but then that kind of slides away, and then there's clouds from this next system approach. And this is the system that's going to affect us on President's Day. Uh, and you can see it starts to snow. Let's uh, move this along here, but changes to rain. And it might stay snow north of the city. Uh, this won't be a very big precipitation maker, but it will bring a little. Uh, it's our next major chance for precipitation, and that will be Monday, February 18th. And then after that, we are uh, a chain of systems again. So after another week, high pressure system probably won't clear us out. Probably be plenty of clouds around for uh, that as well. Uh, this system approaches for Wednesday. And this one may be more of a winter impact with more snow, perhaps our first chance of some really some decent amount of snow. I mean, not a huge snow storm, but a decent amount of snow for this winter. Uh, because we, we do have a ridge here, but the ridge is fairly weak, and it's enough to have the storm track right now keep us in the cold air. So that would be good, and we can get some snow out of it. But unfortunately, as we go into Thursday, the warm air comes in, and it tries to change it over to rain. And then another system arrives on uh, later into Friday. Uh, and this one, again, starts to snow and then change, changes to rain. And then yet another system. So this could be like a parade of systems for Sunday. Another one. This one would be rain. Uh, and again, just because you got this southeast ridge and you have a stall front, so it's just one little conveyor belt of, of, of storms coming in off the Gulf and riding up in the east coast. Uh, very unsettled and it'll be very cloudy. And then... Uh, we get a little bit of a break, high prills in, and then, yep, another storm for Thursday. So we, and then another one for for Friday. So literally, they just keep coming one after another after another. And then maybe as we get into March, maybe finally we can get some dry air coming in here and have some nice weather. Maybe, maybe. But now we're talking about March 3rd. All right, so that's why you got to enjoy this weekend because the weather is going to suck. So let's take a look at the temperature anomaly. We'll take a look at this and show you where the cold air is. So we'll back that up to today and you can see much above normal and here's the front so it kind of becomes average uh, for our area for the weekend fairly average and you can see again the cold air keeps coming into the west the west keeps getting the cold air and we are stuck with this ridge and you can see that southeast ridge start so it warms up again on Monday uh, and then cools down a little bit and there'll be enough cold air around and this is what I'm thinking, at least this GFS has it, that we could have that snow event on Wednesday. But then that warm air comes in and, uh, and uh, changes it over to rain. And then the next couple of systems are rain as we got the warm air. And again, all the cold air in the west. You want to be in the west. That's where the cold air is. That's where winter is. We don't have winter in the east this year. And again, another real batch of some really nice cold air you know, it just won't make it over here. We keep dealing with the cold air going into the west and then lifting back up. It doesn't want to uh, come in our area, and it just keeps happening over and over again. That's really annoying. That Where is winter? Where is winter? Uh, and it, it's ridiculous, and it's not normal. But this is, a lot of this is due to, uh, I will say, climate change, but also the El Nino pattern, which is a bad pattern for us. Uh, it always brings uh, above normal temperatures, and it brings a lot of storms to the west coast, which favor the cold air going there and not here. Uh, and that's exactly what we're seeing, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, if we go and we uh, look, let's look, get a little closer, look at our area here, and take a look at a closer look at these storms. Um, you will see now. I, this is the only. The, I only have one of the model I can use. I think for some of these storms here. So here's that storm for Sunday. Sunday, pretty much, it's mostly rain for Monday. That President's Day, maybe a little snow at the end. It's the next system that might bring us some snow, but it really won't be a big snowmaker. And then the next one, rain. And the next one, rain. And the next one, rain. You get the idea. So let's see. All, of all these storms, how much snow does the GFS give us to the end of the period? Let's take a look and see. It actually gives us, uh, I guess it's in the pink, so maybe we'll get five inches out of one of those storms. Maybe. But the big snow, is the, you have to go up further north upstate in the mountains. There, there'll be a decent amount of snow. Um, but, uh, again, this is a ways out. Uh, we can look at the ICON model as well uh, and see uh, what it is forecasting. This only goes out to Wednesday, so uh, it doesn't really show us 
uh, anything really. Um, the next storm, like I said, the next one for President's Day is going to be rain. It's the Wednesday storm we have to watch out for. But this is a long ways away. Uh, and again, if we go and we uh, move this back to this clouds, or I got to move this back to the GFS here. Uh, if we go and we look at the clouds, you'll see uh, that we are going to be dealing with, again, lots of clouds throughout next week. So again, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of clouds. Maybe one clear day in there for Monday, February 25th, maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Meanwhile, we'll do the, let's, let's do the hypothetical, what if we were in Flagstaff? What kind of weather would we be dealing with there? All right, so let's take a look and take a look at that. So uh, uh, they'll be having some nice clear skies this weekend, too, maybe some clouds around. But then all of next week, clear skies Wednesday. It looks like clear skies maybe part of Thursday and Friday, more clouds. But they'll have more clear days than we will. Uh, and they're also going to have better uh, colder temperatures too. If you look at the temperatures, you'll see it'll be colder there. Uh, you can see this is where all the cold air is. It's out west because this is what El Nino favors. Uh, it favors this. So it really does suck. Uh, what can I say? Uh, but this is the way it is when you have El Nino. Uh, we can't really get. If we go and we change it to the northeast, you'll see here. Uh, no real Arctic air for us. If we go all the way through the period, there's no Arctic air. Um, you'd have to go up into maybe Maine uh, or northern New York or Vermont or New Hampshire to maybe get a little bit more of that Arctic air, but no Arctic air, and that's terrible for us with the southern pine beetles. I'm really worried we're going to get hit very hard with them uh, this year here on Long Island. Uh, so uh, that's going to be it for this weather update, and I just want to make an addendum that uh, you won't the public the ratings that you normally see in the video are no longer public because of the intimidators and that's all I'm going to say you have a bunch of intimidators out there that just want to keep downloading the videos I'll still see them but you won't uh, so it just get they won't have the satisfaction of that anymore for everybody to see what they're doing uh, you know it's best to ignore people like that um, that's for sure and a big <laughs> Yeah, that's for you, Intimidators. Anyway, that wraps up this weather update. Take care, and thank you for watching.